say during your exam for part three, you see some type of device similar to this. So what type of detector is it? How does it work? What is the order of events to make it work? What quantity is being measured? What are its advantages and disadvantages? And then what is a useful range and ultimately how we typically use it in the clinic? So this is a TLD that stands for thermoluminescent dosimeter. And how's it work? So ultimately, there it, it's made of materials with crystal lattices. So there is a high energy uh, conduction band and a low energy valence band. Impurities are added to make trapping centers, which allow the electrons to be trapped between the valence and conduction bands. Now, if we apply heat, the electrons can be released from the trap, which then falls to the valence band, and it can ultimately be released with light. So the amount of light that is being given off is and can be proportional to the dose. A glow curve is made with a quantity of light versus temperature. To reuse the TLDs, the crystals need to be annealed with a very high heat at a long time. So there's another video I made with glow curves that definitely dive into that one. But ultimately, that is how a TLD works. And it's important to know because TLDs are very important in our clinics. So what are the order of events? So first of all, radiation enters and they promote the electrons to the conduction band. So I'm just going to put electrons and it goes to the conduction band. Now two, electrons lose energy and then they fall down into a trap because they have lost that energy. Now three, we apply heat and that frees the electron so here we put freeze electron and releases light. And then from that, we can make a glow curve and then estimate the dose. So what quantity is being measured? Ultimately, we are measuring the light that is emitted from the crystal. And the advantages and disadvantages. So the advantages are that they are very small. There's no wires. It's energy. So this, of course... Assuming we use lithium fluoride, LIF, which most TLDs are made of, there is energy independence, which is fantastic. And then they can also be used for neutron detectors. And they, for the disadvantages, they are only accurate up to 3% um, accurate. And the readings do fade over time. And that's mainly because of spontaneous decay. And then the range and how it's used. So the range is milligray to 100 gray. So it has a huge range. And you can use it for iridium-192. You can use it for TBI. You can use it for TSE. You can use it for personal dosimeters. So it really does have a lot of advantages and uses in the clinic. So definitely know TLDs, know how they're used, how they work. And if you have any questions, comment below. Other than that, best of luck.